finding the rule of a line from a graph or from a table of values. Here's a table of values for a line and I'd like you to find the rule. And in the next question, here's a graph of a line and I want you to find the rule. These both use the same method. You remember that when we do a check with a table of values, when I've got a rule, there's two things I check. I check what's the pattern in the y values. I'm going up by one every time. So that's the first thing I check. And the second thing I check is when x is zero, what's y? These are the two numbers that go into the rule. Because I keep telling you, the number when x is zero is the number that's on its own in the rule. And the number that's the pattern is the coefficient of x. And every straight line is going to have y equals a number in front of the x and possibly a number on its own. So the pattern in the table is the number in front of the x. And the number when x is 0, the y value is the number on its own. The positives and negatives matter. Now these are both, this is positive, so I don't need to put a plus because it's automatically positive. This is positive, so I put a plus here because I'm adding it on. When it's a 1, I don't really need the 1. So my rule is y equals x plus 4. And if you wanted to be sure you'd got it right, you could check. 0 plus 4 is 4. 1 plus 4 is 5. 2 plus 4 is 6. 3 plus 4 is 7. You got it right. So the pattern is the coefficient of x that means the number that x is multiplied by and the y value when x equals 0 is the number on its own in the rule. Now later, probably next year, you'll learn a more mathematical way of putting this. But for now, that's how we get the rule. This is how much it goes up by every time I've got an extra x. This is our starting point. Find the rule of a graph by making a table of values. Now, we can actually skip this, and the other video shows how we could you know, do this more easily. But or sorry, how we could do it more efficiently, but I think the easiest method is to make a table of values. So you get the coordinates of the point. Negative 3, 3. Negative 2, 2. You go in order of x, so because x has to be on the top here, going in order from low to high. So I'm starting there with the smallest x. Negative 2x, and 2 on the y. This is negative 1, 0. If you're worried, then you could fill all this across, assuming all the points were going across in order. 0, negative 2, 1, oops, negative 4, 2, negative 6, and 3, negative 8. Now that you've got a table of values, you can use the same... Oh, hang on. I've miswritten one. You see how I can tell? Because my pattern's not right. That's negative 3, 4. So just by checking my pattern, which is what I was about to do, 
I could see that a point was wrong. That's why the pattern is useful. So that's minus 2. Are all the others minus 2? Yes, they are. So the pattern is minus 2. And when x is 0, y is minus 2. So the rule is negative 2 is the number in front of x, and the number on its own is negative 2. You've made the rule.